What's going on everybody? The Tax D Wolf here and today we are going to be literally showing you a day in the life of the Tax D Wolf but we're also going to be driving for dollars literally giving you tons of games and tons of tips and strategies that's going to help your real estate investing career. So let's go. Wait but if you haven't done so already go ahead and like subscribe to this channel because we're going to be giving you all types of content that's going to help you level up. So first things first uh, we are going to be heading over to one of our short-term rentals. We have this one. Uh, well, we had it listed on Airbnb, but we actually just kind of shifted and converted to midterm stays. So for those of you who don't know, Florida just got hit with a couple of hurricanes, actually. And insurance companies, when, when homeowners get displaced, if their house floods or gets too much damage, they will actually pay you to let people stay in those properties. So that is an awesome strategy for whoever, whoever's not doing this already. Reach out to some of those insurance companies and uh, go build some relationships so that you can have some of those clients come into your uh, houses as well. Uh, these guests, um, the last guest actually just checked out um, like a, a day ago and then the new lady doesn't move in until uh, Saturday and she's going to be staying there for about three months and paying us 2200 a month and the mortgage here is only 700 bucks. So it's, an, it's a nice little profit. I have a question about, uh, there's been a lot of... It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a lot of say about airbnb like the airbnb business right now and because of everything that's going on with you know the recession brewing and things like that that people are saying like you know now is not the time to invest in an airbnb what do you think about that uh that is i would disagree right now is always the time to invest in real estate and create uh, real estate strategies but what you have to do is also invest in a mentor so you can understand what is going to be a good investment so airbnb won't get completely shut down right it's 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 not uh it's not the government it's a business so local municipalities are really going to have control that's why you see some cities are cracking down but some aren't right so this is what we're going to see in the u.s so if you're finding those cities and understanding which ones are thriving which cities will continue to allow the short-term rental model and go to those board meetings right get into that city council and everything have an active voice which a lot of hosts aren't doing you will ultimately thrive in this business especially if you're doing the right research and you know where people are flocking to you're going to make tons of money and you're going to help a lot of people all right so we just pulled up to one of our short-term rentals uh, if you noticed, it was like less than a three minute drive. It, this one is super close to home, um, a three bedroom. I originally purchased this property, get this, in 2014 for $78,000. This house is now worth $350,000. I have not touched any of the equity. So bam, off the jump, net worth of almost 200K just from this one asset. So when people ask, oh, how'd you become a millionaire? It wasn't because I made a million dollars overnight. It was because I purchased very smart uh, assets or very good assets that eventually grew in equity. 